Hello. Today we're going to be adding another tool to our musical practice toolbox. These are strategies you can use at home without a teacher present in order to work through challenging material, whether you're reading the music from a page or whether it's a song that you know really well and you just need to fix a particularly tricky section. Today's strategy is called traffic lights. You may be familiar with this already, but for those that aren't, once you know what the challenges that you're trying to overcome in your practice, maybe it's the high bit in the last post that goes like this. Maybe getting those high notes to come out clearly is particularly tricky for you. You can isolate that and apply this sequence. Step one that I hope you can see clearly is this red light at the top here. In real life, a red light means stop driving your vehicle. Do not move or you may crash and terrible things happen. In our musical analogy, we're going to treat the red light as go super slow. Now, when I say go super slow, um, I want you to take that pattern, take it at whatever you think is a normal slow tempo and try and pull it back even further. So you pull it way back. You need to make sure that you've got clear tonguing, that your positions are correct, that you are pitching the notes high and low enough, you're controlling your embouchure, all that good stuff. Aim to get it perfect and aim to do it three times in a row. That's our next strategy, by the way, the three times perfect rule. Once you can do it at that mega slow speed, you can bump it up to a medium tempo and you have to keep all of those good things working at the new speed. So same deal, clear tonguing, all of that kind of thing. Green light is the funniest one here. Even funnier than a red light that doesn't mean stop. Um, the green light speed is going to change as you practice whatever this tricky uh, phrase of music is. Because on day one, your green light speed uh, might be this tempo. By day two, it'll be a little bit quicker. By day three, even with all the correct notes, even with the clear tonguing, um, you're going to have it faster again. And by day six, so the day before your next lesson, if you've been practicing regularly, your green light speed should be way faster than what it was on day one. So green light speed is actually going to change and it will be different uh, for different people based on what they find easy and what they find difficult. So next time you are trying to read a difficult piece of music, you've been through collapsing play, um, or if you're working on a phrase that technically is really challenging, really high notes, lots of slurs, whatever the challenge is, apply this at home and force yourself to start with red light speed. And I think that after a couple of days of this, you're going to find that every time you pick up your instrument, you're going to be hitting amber light speed and even improving your green light speed um, significantly. I hope that's been helpful. There will be a poster or a worksheet to go along with this. Um, and I look forward to hearing the results. Hi girls. Hi. Oh, you were videoing that whole thing? I was.